Hey, welcome back to Skyblock, where I'm in a little bit of a predicament right now. So, in the last video, we made this supercritical phase shifter, which is very loud. And since then, I've been working to try and run it a lot more efficiently than I had in the previous video. So that involves increasing my power generation, which, as you can see, it's consuming a lot more, and also upgrading this reactor, but that has led to a new problem where I'm not producing anywhere near enough uranium. Yeah, not even enough to keep the reactor running at half capacity. Also, it's large enough now that the water is spawning passive mobs, which I just think is really funny that I've got squids and fish living inside my nuclear reactor. And because I'm wasting all of my uranium trying to run the reactor, it's not being spent making fissile fuel. So I don't really have much, and I'm not running the reactor very often. It's still enough that I'm keeping this tube full, but I'd like to be running it more. So in this video I want to try and solve that uranium problem by upgrading my bees, which I have increased how many bees I've got since last video, and all of these hives are full as well, and that's still not producing enough. So, I found this productivity upgrade, which requires draconic bees. And if I'm going through the effort of getting draconic bees, I may as well go all the way to vibrate, to uh, unobtainium, not vibranium. Because it's not too bad, I could probably get a video out of this. And I do need to do this at some point anyway. Same with all the modium, and I may as well do vibranium too, but vibranium's not nearly as important. So, what do I need for this? I need a slimy bee, a glowing bee. I need a glowstone nest, and a slimy nest. Glowstone nest is simple enough, I just need to get a wooden sword. And then slimy nest, again simple enough. Oh, I have the sword. I don't have the slime block. May as well make a handful of those. So the glowing bee, I need to do that in the nether. And the slimy nest, I need to be in a swamp biome. Is there any easy way to find a swamp biome other than just flying around here until I find one? Because it's not too hard to find biomes with the nature compass. I wonder if it'd work in the twilight forest. Oh, never mind. In the sky block, the nest will attract bees in any overworld biome. I think we went through this getting the ashy miny bee. So first up, glowing bee. You know, I'm gonna use... I'm just gonna keep spamming honey treats until I spawn it. It's extremely wasteful, but... And Glowing Bee, first try. Could it have made others? Nope. Can the Slimy Nest make others? Also nope. So then the Slimy Nest should be exactly as easy as the Glowing Nest. And there it is. Wow, when you have a, a lot of honey treats to just sm spam on the nests, it's a lot quicker to get the bees. And it's asking me to get the combs for each of these. I don't know if I need to. I mean, maybe for the sake of just completing the quest. It uses, the glowing bee uses glowstone, but the slimy bee just uses flowers. So I'm just gonna put the slimy bee in here. Actually, that might be a bad idea. Yeah, cause this setup won't work for it. So no, I'm not gonna do that. I guess I just won't hand in the quests then. So the slimy bee then goes on to the emerald bee I need the diamond bee for that. And it doesn't seem to lead into any of the others. Is Emerald just a, a good material to m generate from this? Because I've already got plenty. Well, then the glowing bee turns into the redstone bee. But I need chocolate mining. I can get it from plenty of nests. I think my best bet is sand. And I already have that. Let's see if it'll give me the one that I want. Because it could also give me another ashy miny bee. It gave me what I want. Okay, so that becomes the redstone bee, but the lapis bee also takes a blue banded? How do I get that? It looks like acacia nest. Yeah, the only thing that I can get from an acacia nest is a blue banded bee. I will need to grow an acacia tree though, because I don't have any logs. There we go, acacia nest. I'll just spam the honey treats on it. There we go, blue banded bee. So, is there any other bees that I need before I can just continue down this chain? I need an ender bee. For vibranium, I need draconic. I need draconic for other things anyway. 
So now I'll do Draconic now and I'll get it running. I'll probably get a lot of them too. So we need an Obsidian Nest. Do I have to do this in the end? Probably. Oh yeah, I guess while I'm here, <laughs> I can show off the sheer amount of mining that I've been doing in here. Because uh, I need... I need two Enderium block three times. Which I might have done. I'm waiting for it to all sieve through. And that's also why my pickaxe broke so much. I think I'll get four draconic bees. There we go, four bees. So, what do the draconic bees need? They need dragon eggs. Hmm. I only got one? Oh, right, I used one to make an arcane dragon egg. That does make me somewhat tempted to go fight the ender dragon a few more times to get more dragon eggs. But one should be enough. Actually, there is this simulator upgrade. And if I put the block it needs in front of it, nah, it works anyway. I'll be fine. Now, I will need to make some more hives, though. Yeah, I may as well just expand it out here. I'm just going to wand this all the way out to the same length as the rest of the mob farm. So I think I can fit two more hives here. And then I wonder, do I put a hive there and there and have the access port in there? And then the collection there, which would be far away from the other one. Or do I put the hives there and there, have the collection area there and the entrance there? I think I want to leave the collection area closer. So I think there and there is the best bet. And there's a chance that I only need one more hive. Yeah, I'll only make, I'll only make one more hive for now and I'll see where that leaves me. And I'm just gonna replicate exactly the same hive designs as I've got over there. Okay, there is the basic hive structure done. Now I just need to make all of these hives. I'll just make one for now that'll have all the draconic bees in it. And I just had an idea. How hard would it be to connect the cables from these hives into the cables for these hives and have it go into the same collection system? I think that's doable. I might do that for now because I'd rather not just have to remake this entire system. Because <laughs> it's not terribly complicated, but if I don't have to remake it, then I don't have to remake it. So I'm just gonna have the one hive in here for now. Ah, oh, great, it's not whether I can sleep through. Oh, I didn't make it an advanced hive. Okay, now I've got an actual hive going on. Dragon egg can kinda go anywhere, so I'll just plonk it down there. I don't know if it's better to have the pollinating block in the ground, but I'm doing it anyway. And I just place down all of the draconic bees and they should get to work. Now I need to make the cable line that'll connect up to here. And if I just set that up, presumably this works now. Looks like they're pollinating it. I'll just have to wait and see until I get a draconic comb. But I'm going to need a lot of these guys, because they're the ones that make the draconic chunks, which is how I make the productivity upgrades. Oh, I can use that to make inactive dragon egg, but I think that still works as a pollinating block. I'm not sure. But either way, I need as many as possible for the productivity upgrades. So then I think I'll just put these baby upgrades in it, so that it just makes more draconic bees. Yeah, but then maybe I should put more hives in. Yeah, it'll be fine. Right, well that's Draconic Bees. And I won't need them to come into play until I get uh, an Ancient Bee, so that I can make Vibranium. So then let's get this Ender Bee. I need an Endstone Nest. I'm surprised that I don't actually have any Endstone here. Well, I'll take an Iron Sword with me and I'll craft the, the nest while I'm in there. There's the nest. And there's the bee. So, I've got the Glowing Bee, the Chocolate Mining, the Blue Banded, the Ender, the Draconic, and I think the only other thing left is the Skeletal Bee. Empty advanced beehives in an unlit area. The bees will move in over time. Do I have... 
a good unlit area to put this in. I mean, if it wasn't for all the mobs that had spawned, it'd be great to put it in here. I always make a big ugly cobblestone box. There we go. Big empty room with an empty advanced hive in it. I will check back later. I guess now I do the giant breeding chain. So first up, redstone bee. I need the glowing and chocolate mining. And I just take any two flowers. And I'll just let that go for a little while. And there's a redstone bee. Now, does it need to be an adult or can I breed while it's still a child? I can still breed while it's a child, so then I don't need to worry about the growing chamber. And this will make the lapis bee. There's the lapis bee. And then lapis bee plus ender bee makes a diamond bee. There's the diamond bee. Now I need to feed a block of netherite to the diamond bee. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of netherite. So, oh, it's a tiny bee. Where's it going? I need to give it a block of netherite. Uh, it might need to be an adult. There we go, now it's an adult. Is this going to be any better? Oh no. Don't fly away, please. There we go. Now it's a ancient bee. Ah. Yeah. So then ancient bee plus draconic bee makes a vibranium bee. Now what's wrong with these draconic bees? I have made another one due to these baby upgrades. Let's take one of them for now for the sake of breeding and then I'll put them back later. So ancient bee and draconic bee, vibranium bee, but I don't think it just takes poppies. Yeah, I need something a bit more. I need draconic dust. Oh, and just a flower on the ancient bee. Well, I do have some draconic combs. Now these centrifuges are gonna be doing radioactive combs for a while, because they just keep generating new ones, but I can replace it for a bit. And there's my draconic dust. I only need two. So then Draconic Bee takes two, and the Ancient Bee just takes a poppy. And there's the Vibranium Bee. Now, has the Skeletal Bee shown up yet? Oh, there's a Creeper. Is there a bee? No. I'll come back later. But that's the only one left that I need. And it does say Advanced Beehives. I guess placing multiple will increase the chances. I'm, I'm just going to place a ton of these. Oh, but they can't enter from the front. And how about something like this? That works. I hope the room's big enough. I guess I'll just do a bit of housekeeping while I wait. Okay, so I've gone and kitted this out with uh, a bunch of more hives and the unobtainium block. Oh, I should probably put an Aldermodium block in there too. There. Yeah, and I'll put a Vibranium block in. Why not? I may as well have some Vibranium bees going. Yeah. So I'll have... What would that be? 15 Draconic Bees, 15 Vibranium Bees, 15 Unobtainium Bees, and 15 Aldermodium Bees. Now... Oh. I gotta look out for mobs. But otherwise... Is there a Skeletal Bee in here? Yeah! Oh, and a Zombie. Two of them. Three. Two Skeletal Bees. Four zombies. Okay. So then there was a skeletal bee in there, right? <sighs> Breaking the hive doesn't get the, the bee out. How do I get the bee out? Well, it's nocturnal, so I guess I'll just wait until night and then pick it up. Guess I may as well do the same with the others. And I just made it morning. I may as well just pick up the, the withered bee instead. So I'll give it a wither rose. Well, I've kind of run out of housekeeping to do. I guess I'll just wait. Okay, I think it's dark enough now that the, the bee should be out. Yeah, look at him go. Oh boy. Okay. Ah, oh, I think I messed up. My wither rose was consumed, so I figured that I got a skeletal bee. Maybe I just accidentally tried breeding a zombie. Well, I've got more Wither Roses. There we go. Withered Bee. Now I may as well get rid of this giant cobblestone box. I can get rid of the rest of these zombies and skeletal bees. Just need the Withered Bee. 
So I just need Withered Bee and Ancient Bee. And there's an All the Modium Bee. And then All the Modium and Vibranium with the right breeding material makes an Unobtainium Bee. Ah, <sighs> that was a long process. But now I can put all of these bees into the right hive, and once they grow up, they should just start producing. I mean, very slowly currently, because there's only one. Uh, between videos, I might breed up a ton more of them, because I think 12 of each will be good. Actually, no, I can hold 15. And I'll do the same for the draconic bees. I hope the baby upgrades can work on the all the modium bees. Also, some of these draconic bees, I think they're, they're just bugged. Because there's there's plenty of hives around, they just don't seem to want to go into them. Ah, uh, but that's the high tier bees done. I'm not going to be able to cross off a lot of these quests, because that means I have to get the bees going. Maybe I make a new hive and I just put all of these ones down anyway. Yeah, I've got a spare skeletal bee. I might need to make an another spare diamond bee. And I'll need to make that emerald bee if I want to do it. But I hope that's the last that I have to deal with bees. Because it's not like they're terribly annoying, it's just... It's just kind of slow. I have so many bees now just sitting around. But now, I have unobtainium production. And all the modium. And vibranium. And I've got the Draconic Bees here to upgrade my production of other things. Now I run- I wonder, <laughs> how efficient is this? 10% chance. I'm guessing that's a 50-50, that I get two instead of one. Then I guess you can math it out to be a 15% chance to get a nugget. Either way, that's still very slow. But if I AFK for a while, I'll probably get a bunch of them, and if I've got 15 bees, it should be fine. I don't think I've got time in this video to expand this much further, so I'll, I'll do it between videos because I'm just going to be doing exactly the same thing that you've seen me do now, just 15 times. Oh, whoa. There's pillagers here? I didn't know pillagers could spawn. I didn't think my base was big enough for that yet. I guess I've got Bad Omen for a bit now. And a cool banner. Just throw it there. I wonder... How much Draconic Dust? Ooh, I've got ten! I can make one Draconic Chunk! Also, I forgot to put my Draconic Bee back. I should be able to start getting some productivity upgrades now. I feel like I might have time left in this video. But at the same time... I don't think there's anything else I can fit in here. What could I go on with next? I don't think there's any low-hanging fruits in the ATM star. Maybe the creative essence? How much insanium have I got? I've got three blocks. Oh, I've gone through my Inferium recently. I don't think there's much I can do about that. Also, I don't think I've shown off the reward that I got for the Dimensional Seed. This giant stone sword. Because it, it finished crafting, so I have that. I think my Enderian might have processed by now. I might be able to make those times three. Oh yeah, 1500 Enderian blocks. Yeah, that's enough. And just looking through all of these more complicated recipes left... Oof, some of them are going to take a little while, like Uranium block times four. Or Netherite block times four. But a lot of these things... I can just put through the crafting recipes and probably just queue it up. With a handful of exceptions, like the Singularity, I'll have to bother with the Mana Condenser. Or the Philosopher's Fuel, I'll have to bother with the Pressure Chamber. But otherwise, if I just make all of the recipes... Hmm. I might know what I'm doing next video. Yeah, I've probably got space here to make enough crafting recipes. I thought 32 Molecular Assemblers would be enough, but... I'm filling it quicker than I think. Though a lot of this I can probably get rid of by now. Nah, that's fine. Oh, I've already gotten all the modium comb? And I've already got some unobtainium and- Why am I producing vibranium so much quicker? Jeez. Guess I'll send these through into the centrifuge. 
Well, I think I'm just kind of scrambling at things to do, so I'm going to leave this video here. I feel like I've done plenty. And this is very, very good progress to have made, so I'm pretty happy about it. I'm probably going to upgrade it between videos, but it, it seems like it's decent enough already. I don't know. But, yeah, that's... That's going to be enough. So, yeah. Bye.